investigation into suspected faulty software. The British Association of Social Workers has written an open letter to the Health Secretary and to all the Tory leadership contenders, urging them to set out their views on social care and specifically to clarify when they will publish the Green Paper on adult social care. This action follows a delay of over two years for the Green Paper, which was first promised by the government in 2017. Erin King is a member of BASWA and she told UCB's Helen Price there is a crisis in adult social care. Our members who are social workers that are working on a day-to-day -day basis um, with people within communities where they're trying to provide services for people to regain a level of independence that they may have lost because of a life-changing event, whether that's something that's a temporary physical or emotional difficulty that someone's facing in their life, or it could be a long-term condition. And our members, they're saying that it's becoming more and more difficult to be able to access the necessary resources to support these adults within the communities. Our members are very, very concerned that when we're talking about crisis, we're talking about the fact that there's more and more pressure being placed on informal carers to actually provide for those people that they're caring for. And that can be family or friends. Additionally, there is the potential that people become more isolated within their own homes. They're not being able to access services, and that's not necessarily services that local authorities can provide, but also within the voluntary and independent sector where the social care market, obviously, over the last few years with austerity, the social care market is becoming less with some agencies and voluntary services not being available for people. And some of these are a lifeline for people to be able to actually get out of their homes and actually meet with other people. Social workers are becoming more and more frustrated because they're seeing the fact that this isolation that people are facing within their own homes, where they're only possibly seeing the care workers who come in two times a day, and that's the only person that these people are seeing. It is a crisis, and what Basra is saying is that the government has to stop delaying on the publication of the Green Paper. I mean, we've already had in January the NHS, the government has produced the long-term plan, and what Basra is saying in their open letter is basically to also provide a long-term plan for adult social care. Matt Hancock, the current... Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. He mm. pledged to increase spending by £3.5 billion pounds on social care, uh, but he's yeah. no longer in the contest to be Tory leader. Is that money that was promised, uh, is that been implemented yet? Basma does welcome that pledge. It's, it's important that that money is put into social care, but as far as we're aware, as we're speaking now, I don't think that money has been pledged. That's Erin King from the British Association of Social Workers. The Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for large parts of England.